just and take more questions for the head coach. Um, obviously, we knew that uh, you know, um, having played in uh, Connecticut, uh, obviously the best team in, team in the country right now. That was going to be a battle. Our uh, goal was to keep them to 60 points. We were very close to doing that. Uh, however, obviously, our offense was. Uh, Shots weren't falling. We needed to make layups and wide open uh, jump shots, and that's where we fell short. And then obviously uh, we didn't box out very well, and they just crashed the boards. And they're just such a, an efficient team. You just can't make a lot of mistakes. Okay, we'll take questions to student athletes. If you could give your name and your affiliation, and clearly state who you're asking the question to, please. Try to get to everybody. Corner. Uh, Mike Carmen, Lafayette Journal and Courier, Brittany. Uh, just talk about the first half of the offense. Did you feel like you had the look? Just how much did their defense maybe throw you off filter a little bit? We had a lot of open looks and um, layups, jump shots, threes. We took a lot of threes in the first half, which um, you know wasn't something we, we you know wasn't in the game plan. I think we had the open looks; they just didn't fall for us, and you know we had to get settled down. In the back, Dre uh, Ross Bowl and WLFI. Um, it seemed like they were clogging the lane up for you. How frustrated were you with? Uh, everything inside. Uh, yeah, they did a really good job of stopping my penetration. Um, so I just looked to kick out to my teammates. I thought my teammates did a really good job of getting open when I did kick out the ball. Second round. Kyle Charter, School and Black Illustrated. Just, Brittany, just happy with how you guys you know, approached the game and, and how you came into it today? Yeah, we fought hard as a team. We knew it was going to be a battle, and like Coach said, they're a very efficient team. They hit their open shots, and um, we didn't hit shots, and I think that you know they're the best in the country right now. And, um, I'm just proud of the way we played. Uh, Dre, just talk about the half-court defense. Did you feel like you guys were pretty efficient in, the, in that setting? Yeah, I definitely think that um, we did a good job in the half-court setting. Um, really tried to take away their key players. I thought we did a really good job. They just hit tough shots and some open shots when they had them. Back again. Dre, how, how frustrated were you guys at halftime that, that normal shots that normally go down for you guys weren't, weren't falling? Yeah, it was frustrating, but um, just we came in at halftime and knew as a team that if we kept shooting that we couldn't possibly shoot as bad as we did in the first half. Um, so we just kept looking to take shots um, and hit them with confidence. Brittany, what's the, the one or two things you take out of this game as you go into the off season and can apply to next year? Um, playing, you know, the best team in the country right now gives us a lot of, um, you know, a lot to learn from. We had. We played against the best team, and I think that we learned a lot how to have a championship mentality, what it takes to win a championship, and for us not losing anybody, I think that's awesome. And now knowing that everybody has learned that and been able to be in that environment is awesome. Back again. We have any other questions for student athletes, Pat? Uh, Patty, you're from the Associated Press. Just kind of along those lines, what are you guys taking from this whole season? Um, I would have to say we've just grown as individuals, as human beings and as athletes. I think that the coaching staff and the players on this team have grown in chemistry and I think that that's something that we have that no other program in the country has because of what we've dealt with. I think we learned a lot about life um, and about each other and about what family means, like what it really means to be a family as a team. Um, and I think that will definitely help us in the off season and going into next season. Anybody else? Okay, if not, we'll dismiss the student athletes. With our congratulations on a great season, we'll continue with questions for the head coach. Bye. Jimmy? <laughs> Yeah, we needed to control the tempo. In order to do that, you can't turn the ball over, hopefully make more shots than we did. Um, and we didn't make a lot of shots, but we still were able to, you know, try to keep them about around 60. So I thought the defensive effort was really, really, really good. But we did. We were trying to execute, move the ball, uh, take a shot under 10 seconds uh, just to limit their touches.
practice? Why, why do you think you're pretty successful in half court defense? I just think our defense is really good. I mean, it has been great all year, uh, really focused. Um, we just continue to grow, uh, you know, every day in that category since we had, uh, you know, some issues early on. So, uh, you know, our kids know that defense is going to hopefully help our offense. We didn't get a lot of steals, but we did some really good things. And uh, I thought Dee Dee Williams did a good job chasing, uh, you know, Maya Moore as much as possible. She was able to get on the offensive rebounds at times, but I thought uh, Dee Dee, that experience will help her tremendously. Roger. Roger, Cleveland from Waterbury. Can you just talk, Coach, about the tough matchup? Tiffany Hayes is, I mean, when you are playing good defense, shutting down. Maya Moore, all of a sudden, she comes out and plays the way she did. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, if you can shoot the three, put it, uh, put the ball down, have that quickness, and be able to get to the hole, very difficult to defend. And in transition, obviously, we're getting to the paint, and we weren't getting out on, on her. Um, and she knocked down shots. I mean, that's what great players do uh, in tough situations. John. John Altavilla from the Hartford Current. Um, Sharon, uh, Coaches have come in here all year and said two kinds of defense that really distinguishes them and makes them a championship team. What was your evaluation of their defense, and do you think that that's the key to their team? Well, someone had asked me that question um, the other day, and I, I said the defense is is a key. People don't probably give them as much credit, and I would say uh, they need to. You know, I mean, they're efficient on offense. They have an amazing system, and they've got players to knock down shots. But for them to get up and down the court and run, you got to be able to box out and make people take some tough shots. So uh, I think their defense, obviously, is a big key to why they're so successful. Sharon, how, how frustrated were you for your team that you guys were getting the defensive stops when you kind of needed them, but but they, they just couldn't cash them in. How, mm -hmm. Just how frustrated were you for them? Well, it's very frustrating because this, this team, uh, you know, if they made shots, then the game would have been a little bit tighter, a little bit different, and, and it gave them so much effort. I mean, what we've gone through, you just want things so much for your team, and, uh, you know, we had some good looks. If somebody knocks down a couple shots, and all of a sudden the basket gets bigger, and uh, we didn't do that. It was like once every eight, once every ten, and, you know, that is a struggle, but, I mean, we, we stayed we stayed the course. And, I again, we were, can walk away from this, especially with our defense and our mentality and the physicalness that we played with. Uh, very very proud of our group. Um, Holly Tanning, I'll switch with you all. Um, can you talk a little bit about that 19 to 1 run that you kind of had yeah. in the second half? Um, came out and hit a couple shots in the beginning, and then that – well, they uh, got to the offensive board was one thing, and then they were able to hit three threes in transition. So that changes the game pretty quickly within about a 30-second span. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, we didn't do a good job in transition because we're trying to get back in the paint, obviously, to uh, find Maya Moore. We didn't get out on the wing. So, I mean, obviously that's going to damage you pretty quickly. You got good contributions from you mentioned Dee Dee earlier, but Sam owes you a couple of your younger players. Just what, what kind of help will that be, this experience playing here as you go into next year? Well, I mean, it always is going to help tremendously. I mean, you, you have uh, two freshmen and a sophomore that really did a phenomenal job and contributed on both ends of the court, um, playing in front of a uh, very, uh, you know, a crowd that is, uh, you know, very loud. That's not for you on the national stage. I think it's just going to continue to make them understand that how much harder we have to work and the things that we need to do. And again, we're a young team, you know, and we do have everybody returning, and obviously that's going to help with adding a, a couple more freshmen. But um, you know, there's nothing but great things to come from from, from this experience. Clark, uh, John Nash from the uh, Milwaukee Hour, formerly the Bangor Daily News, but I missed you up there, unfortunately. Huh. So, could you just you talk about the young team and the lots been made of the UConn freshmen? Could you just talk about how your pre pre uh, freshmen performed? During the NCAA tournament? Oh, I think our freshmen have been phenomenal throughout the year because we had KK Hauser go down, and then with Dre's situation, um, you know, she was out for about a month and a half. So our freshmen had to play 30 to 35 minutes. And so, you know, Dee Dee's more of the defensive specialist, but she's a point guard, and she can play the one, two, or three. And I think uh, what she can do, uh, the mindset, I think Dee Dee's, uh, you know, one of the, the best in that category. You know, Courtney. Um, <coughs> You know, she carried us a lot in scoring this year. She was a Big Ten freshman in the Big Ten. And, um, you know, she has been our kind of that engine that, that keeps us going. And uh, she, her growth has been phenomenal. She needs to play a little better defense, and she's you know, has grown in that area. And then, obviously, just understanding the system. She's a scoring point guard, 
So we had to obviously work with her as well that you got to score, but you got to set your other teammates up. And I think she really, really did a nice job throughout the end of the year. Anything else? Okay. Thank you, Coach. <clears throat> I love the UConn people.